sitting down so I can see which way I'm going right now. Church since I was 
I want to say 12, but I know it was 10. Could have been younger. Um, so I've been growing up in church my whole life. Um, that's not to say I gave my life to Christ at 10. I'm just saying that I've been in church my whole life. Um, it's been an experience. I've seen people come, I've seen people go. I've seen people, you know, just, I've seen some, some serious stuff in this church, like not in no funny way or anything like that, but yeah. I've seen people, you know, that have come off road and stuff and come to church and their life has been transformed. Um, they've just built a new building as well. And, um, you know, it's, it's going good. The, 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 how long has it been now? About three years, four years, that church has been going, um, the new build anyway. And um, it's just been going all right, man. Everything's been growing, We're growing in numbers, We're growing spiritually. Yeah, man, God's doing some amazing stuff. No doubt about that God's doing something here, especially in Aston, where it's, a, it's kind of an area in Birmingham which is not really looked upon as something good. Yeah. Where yeah. you for doing a lot of positive stuff. But it's nice to know that, you know, church is bringing it back, especially in this area. Um, if, the, if the, there's anything that you can say to the, to the folks that are listening now, say it. And are you bringing out any music later on? <laughs> Um, so that an audience could kind of like pick up something and have you got someone we can contact you on? Um, I am planning to bring out something um, the later of this year. Um, it's just all in the writing stages at the moment. So what you heard was kind of like an uncut version of what I was going to do anyway. Um, what I say to those, especially younger as my age, I'm only like 24, to about, about to be 25, is just um, once you know the truth, you got to stay to it, you know what I mean? And I know once I found Christ, that was it, you know what I mean? I didn't need to turn back um, and go forward. Yes, you fall, but you get back up, you know what I mean? You, you keep going and you, you put the right people around you um, just to hold you up and just walk with you, man. Just make sure you get disciples. Disciples are the big key, so make sure. Cool, cool. Yeah? Is there any way that we can contact you? Uh, via Facebook, uh, JB Music Page, Twitter, your boy JB. Um, for now, that's the only ones, but there will be some stuff later on in the future. Okay, cool, so you're here at the FPS, live at Unplugged, Mount Zion Church, JB, and um, you don't need to know who I am. NJ, NJ, Nisheng, GL. Jesus is in the building. Wanna hear him spit some bars, yeah? <laughs> I think you should spit some bars now. That's nah, man, because I'm the interviewer, and he's the interviewee, so he should, like, kind of step off now, because he's a bit, he's like, um, stepping over the boundaries a bit too much now, so, you know. He's looking at on the Naomi's like, yeah, you know, Miss Uncle. GL, 360. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Shout gosh. out to Roger and all the fellas, Andy Howe, you know, Adrian, all of them. GL, big movie, you're doing big things for the king. Step it up. <laughs>